My name is Lauren Crappenzander Jumanville, and I'm the Director of Civic Leadership Initiatives at the Baton Rouge Area Foundation. The Criminal Justice Coordinating Council is a new nonprofit that we established with each of our criminal justice stakeholders and with local community advocates. The Board of Directors is made up of each of the criminal justice agencies who make the process tick. Here at the Baton Rouge Area Foundation, we stumbled into criminal justice reform. We were looking at people with mental illness and those who suffer from substance abuse challenges and how we can help support them when they're in crisis. We know that these individuals often end up in jails, local hospitals, or without the appropriate care they need, and so we started working on the Bridge Center for Hope. In doing our research and meeting with local stakeholders and those who really know more than we did, we figured out that there's a real challenge with our incarceration system here in East Baton Rouge Parish. Baton Rouge has a high incarceration rate. We know this when you look at other communities of similar population sizes and, and their demographic makeup. We also know that the incarceration rate is driven by a couple of key factors. First is how quickly someone moves through the criminal justice system. So from the point in time when someone is arrested and then all the way through until they go to their trial, how long that case processing takes also impacts how long they stay in jail and thus how many people we have inside our jail. We also know that the number of people that we book and therefore are putting into our jail impacts our incarceration So what does it mean to our community that we've lowered the local jail population by more than 40% since November of 2017? It means that each day, on average, approximately 750 fewer people are in our jail, in our local jail system. That means that thousands of individuals who cycle through our jail system are home with their families, are keeping their jobs, and continuing to contribute to society and, and making things work. By having fewer people in jail, we think we're saving the city parish millions of dollars annually. Those are dollars that can be diverted into programs that continue to support these types of efforts and initiatives. What's next for the Criminal Justice Coordinating Council and the Baton Rouge Area Foundation? We're looking at ways that we can continue to improve efficiencies in our criminal justice process. And more importantly, we're looking at ways that we can engage with the community. How do we make sure that our efforts have a race equity lens and that we make sure that our procedures don't negatively impact communities of color? I'm proud of the work of the Criminal Justice Coordinating Council, and I'm proud to be a part of the Baton Rouge Area Foundation team, working to improve the lives of those who interact with our local justice system here in East Baton Rouge Parish.